<laughs> yeah, I, I just noticed that uh, hand now. I, I was somewhat distracted. Hello, Goyim is your buddy. Oh, Shaq, yeah. Yeah, what is up with that bloody hand? Okay. So this is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 16.HU. I don't know what that means. 16 hunted? Hunted, I guess. Just issue. I don't know. It's, it's the Amazing Spider-Man. Right. Okay, I was obviously attracted by... Um, well, the double aspect of the front cover. She's got the um, invitingly open mouth and and the and the and the the, the chestums. Is that a word? The, the chestums exposed. <sighs> Let me get my hands on your mammary glands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but of course, there's something else about the the front cover. Not just the hands. Not just the the bosoms and the the mouth. There's Spencer. <laughs> Nick Spencer. Somewhat on the left, you, you you might say. So this hold our breath and jump into the world of the of the far left, which is Nick Spencer. <gasps> okay. So there's a group here called Magia. Let's see if I can get the, the panel uh, where she says the word. Because it sounds awfully like MAGA to me. Of course, when I want to find it, I can't find it. Anyway, she's she's beating up the, the Magia. Where are you, Magia? There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, Magia. <laughs> Make America great, great in it again. I don't know. Okay, so Nick Spencer's getting his aggression out. And never, ever forget, my fellow righties, that this is what they want to do to you. She hasn't beaten them up, has she? She has murdered them. And this entire book is from her point of view. And she's the hero, or the heroine, of the book. Nick Spencer, of course, doesn't really want to write about a straight white man like Peter Parker. So even though he's writing the Amazing Spider-Man book, this is really all about the lady with the strange hand. So the entire book is about the black cat. She's a immoral, murderous villain who's portrayed as a kind of good guy, really. And this is something about the modern left, isn't it? Which we need to start talking about all the time and never, ever forget. Now, we're not dealing with the good guys here. We're dealing with... Real world bad guys, and like all real world bad guys, they think they're the good guys. They think they're justified in everything that they do. Remember what happened when the Bolsheviks took over Russia? Mass exterminations, never ever forget. They'll do the same thing again because they think it's the moral thing to do. So the entire book is about Black Cat. Peter Parker is just a boyfriend. She's awesome. She's the best fighter in the world, which is strange because I thought she was a cat burglar. And the one thing that she fears more than anything else in the entire world, because she certainly doesn't fear a group full of men because she can obviously easily beat them up. No, she fears commitment. So it looks like Peter Parker's going to give her the ring here and tie her down and give her the, the happiness of motherhood, of being a wife. Hell no! There will be no breeding on the uh, extreme left. No breeding at all. Here she is beating up the men at the end of the book. I won't do a spoiler. I won't do a spoiler. And also for copyright reasons as well. I just want to do a quick summary then of, of what I, I found in the pages of this book. And yeah, again, thanks for pointing out that weird hand. Right. Nick Spencer obviously doesn't want to write about Peter Parker because Peter Parker's a straight white man. I've already said that. But the interesting thing about the Catwoman character, but that's because that's what she is. She is you now Catwoman and that's Bruce Wayne. So this is the, the Marvel version, isn't it, with Peter Parker and, and uh, Black Cat. The one interesting thing about this cat lady again, always cats again, it's all about the cats, isn't it? Very... Um, informative very instructive i would suggest that the uh, the empowered ladies are all about the cats uh, what this tells me is that the left are genuinely dangerous and also that there is no future 
for the left. Because if the left don't want to breed, that's the end of the left, isn't it? That's the end of them. The end for you, young lady, in the real world, is saggy tits. No Peter Parker, just a cat, barren wound, inevitability. The end of everything, my love. You can't have fun in the city forever. You're not going to be young forever. Once you get past the age of about 30, you're going to have, you're going to have if you're lucky, maybe 50 years of boxes of wine, 50 years of dead cats, because cats don't live very long, you know. 50 years of Prozac prescriptions. 50 years of tweeting. Would you really prefer that over happiness of being a mummy? Being a grand mummy? Okay. Go for it, Mr. Spencer. Keep advocating for this kind of behaviour and the left, long term, you end up losing because you're not going to regenerate yourself. So the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 16.hu, to me, is a bit of a, a white-pilled book, even though it's a, an Nick Spencer book, because the ideology at the heart of the modern left has exposed itself as being an ideology which hasn't really got a future because it does not advocate for for replacement, doesn't advocate for breeding, doesn't advocate for, for families. And uh, at the core, it doesn't really advocate for happiness. And we all want to be happy, don't we? So who would want to be on the extreme left with Nick Spencer, not me? Okay, that's all I've got to say about the book. I'll be back later on reviewing Doomsday Clock. Later on today, I don't know, maybe this weekend, I'll knock out the review. I haven't read it yet. I'm hoping that Rorschach would uh, return, but I'm absolutely 100% convinced that Walter Kovacs will not return because, like I said in a previous video, Walter Kovacs is a conservative hero, uh, a right-wing, masculine, straight white male hero. And I, I can't see them allowing a straight white male conservative hero to um, play a large role in, in modern comics today. They have to demonise that man or marginalise him as they've done in this book. The Amazing Spider-Man where Peter Parker barely plays a role in the entire book. It's all about the black cat. Okay, I'll end the video there. Thanks for checking it out. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you'd be so kind. I'll be back later with that Doomsday Clock review. And I'm sure there'll be something for me to say about the ongoing disaster, which is the Captain Woke movie. So cheers, guys. Take care. Back as always. Laters.